All right, guys, welcome to our last lecture for the class. <clears throat> it's going to be a short lecture. Just going to talk about um, kind of football from the 1990s going forward. So the 90s kind of marked a, a huge time of innovation. Um, the zone blitz, the idea of playing a Tampa 2 defense. Uh, Nebraska was um, very prominent, not only as a program, but as an eye option team. The 3-3-5 defense. Um, the variations of spread offenses, um, triple option offenses, and also the idea of using the Wildcat offense all came around um, in the 90s. As we moved into the 2000s, um, it's become a passing game. The spread offense has become synonymous with football. Um, obviously, if you have watched any of the playoff games, you can see that. The idea of zone read, power read, air raid type offenses, uh, run pass options, all have come around in the last 20 years. And also the game has gotten more advanced from the standpoint of scouting um, through programs like Huddle. So looking at football going forward, some good things about it. Um, one is that college football or teams playing college football is at an all-time high. So in other words, there are more college football programs than ever before. Um, the NFL viewership is at a record viewership. And it's still America's game, and it's the safest in, as in history because of the rule changes. There are a lot of things we have to, to consider bad and we have to question. One is that high school participation is down 3%. Youth participation is down tremendously. People don't want their kids to play football because of safety. Uh, football has infiltrated itself into politics. Uh, it's outpriced its fan base. It's had attendance problems. It's had a perception of, of, of not being a great game anymore. And, and then some things that we have to consider, not necessarily bad, but how are we going to handle paying college players going forward? How are we going to deal with coaches' pay? So these are all things that we have to consider going forward as people working in sport and also as future coaches. And so this is something you'll be able to elaborate on more in your, uh, in your assignment this week.